Hello and welcome. This is This Life Between Us, and I'm your host, Mish Aliza. Today we have a very important guest with us. He used to be called Saul, but he swapped the S for the P. Please welcome Paul. Good morning, Mish. I'm happy to be here. Today we're examining your second letter that's about to come out, addressed to the Corinthians. And in chapter 9 you speak about generosity, which is why we're wearing these shirts. Why do you think that's so important? That's a good question. I think most of us have developed a me-first attitude. Uh, we have this idea that if we don't take care of ourselves first, who will? And it's very important that we understand that God is taking care of us. If we can put our trust in God, then we can give generously and reap a very large harvest. Reaping a harvest. You know, I noticed that you used those same words in your letter. Yeah, right here in verse 6, it says, Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion. For God loves a cheerful giver. Could you explain what you mean by that? Certainly. I compare generosity to the work of a farmer. If a farmer throws out 1,000 seeds in his field with a 60% yield, he's looking at a harvest of 60 stocks. However, if he throws out 100,000 seeds, his yield at 60% will be 60,000 stocks. And this is a rudimentary example though. It's linear, linear progression rather than exponential. And what we have to remember is that God works exponentially. Could you explain that in a little more detail? Of course. Let's use a different example. You're a shy person. You don't like talking to a lot of people. But you know it's important that you help spread this good news of Christ's resurrection. So over the course of your lifetime, you talk to just two people. Just two people. That's it. Those two people may talk to two other people, each. So now you're up to six total people who heard about Christ through your seed that you've planted. Those four new people talk to four more each, which means 16 more people together with the first six is 22. Those 16 talk to three each, so now you're at 48. Those 48 talk to two more each, and we're at 96. Those 96 talk, and now we're at 192, and so on and so on. Your two seeds that you sowed in your lifetime leads to countless others hearing God's word. That's exponential growth. Now imagine if you weren't so shy about it. What if you were so confident knowing that God will provide for you that you sow seeds everywhere you go? You can imagine the exponential growth in that equation. I certainly can, and it's quite impressive. Do you have anything that you'd like to say to our listeners before they read your letter? I will say this. God has sent his son to live a perfect life here, to die an innocent death here, and to rise up from the dead to walk among us again. He's promised to bless the seeds that you sow. So spend time in his word today. Listen to your amazing benefactor. And then go out, or stay in, and sow more seeds in whatever way you can. Whether it's through monetary gifts, uh, acts of service, witnessing, uh, confessing your faith, etc. Sow generously, and God has promised that you will reap generously. Thank you, Paul, for those words of encouragement. I know that our listeners will enjoy hearing from you today. It was my pleasure. I thank God in all my remembrances of you. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians is out now and available to stream on BibleGateway.com. Check it out. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm Michelisa, and this has been This Life Between Us. And now, listen to this song with us, Generous Giver. <laughs>